Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be denesting a radical. A nested radical is a radical that contains another radical, and this is an example because this radical contains actually three radicals: two root six, root three, and two root two. And some of these nested radicals can be written in a form that is not nested, and that's called denesting. So that's what we're going to do. For example, if you had the square root of 5 plus 2 root 6, you could write it as root 3 plus root 2. To check your work, you could definitely square both sides and you'll get an identity. So that's what we're going to do. And in some cases, this is complicated, especially when you have a lot of terms or if you have some cube roots. All right, let's see how we can denest something like this, okay? So I'm going to rewrite this. So I want to be able to write this as a sum of radicals, such as a root 6 plus b root 3 plus c root 2 plus d. Now, do we need root 6? Do we have to have an a? Sometimes the a becomes 0, we don't need it, but we need to make sure we have it in the equation, right? Because even if a is 0 at the end, we did not lose anything to make sure that we write the full form. Make sense? Okay. Now, let's go ahead and square both sides. The square and the square root are going to cancel out. I want to go ahead and write this first. This is like four terms. If you don't want to square something like x plus y plus z plus w, which there is a formula for obviously, it's basically the following. Let me go ahead and give you what that looks like. But if you don't want to use it, I understand. But it's fairly easy. You just write the sum of squares and then you start multiplying two terms at a time and then just attach the two. So it's going to look like plus 2xy plus 2xz plus 2xw and then you have to do all the pairs plus 2yz plus 2yw and finally plus 2zw. You do need to write six terms because it's four choose two and as you know from accounting it's supposed to be six okay and we got six terms if you don't want to use this formula totally understand then you can do the following you can kind of group these into two groups and kind of treat it as m plus n squared make sense okay what is m plus n squared that's kind of easy m squared plus n squared plus 2mn. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to treat that as an entity and that as an entity. And then next step, we'll actually take care of those. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and square this sum of sums and then that'll give us the following. So we're going to treat it as m and this as n. First, we need to square this. And then we need to square this. And then we need to write 2mn, which is 2 times this times this. Okay? Make sense? I hope it does. This is a lot of work, isn't it? Now let's go ahead and expand each of these. If you square this, you get, again, we're using the m plus n formula one more time. 6a squared plus 3b squared plus 2ab root 18. Let's write it as follows. That first, this is 2c squared plus d squared plus 2cd root 2. And then plus here, we kind of need to distribute and add the 2 there. Maybe we can just take out the 2 first. There's going to be four terms, so I'm hoping that I can fit it here. That's going to be ac root 12. I'll take care of those later and then ad root 6 and then bc root 6 oops i can't fit it there sorry about that plus bd root 3. now here's what we need to do next simplify these this is 3 root 2 root 12 is 2 root 3 and that's all we need to do and of course don't forget to distribute to 2 okay so we get the following 6a squared plus 3b squared 
and then bring these two plus 2c squared plus 2c squared plus d squared and then we cover these and let's go ahead and write the root 6s first we have ad plus bc but there's also a 2 so 2ad plus 2bc that's going to be the coefficient of root 6 right and then root 3 is going to come from 2ac actually you have to multiply that by another 2 which is 4ac and then another root 3 is going to come from here 2bd and multiply that by root 3 and finally i mean not finally but there's two more terms the root 2s and the constants we have here 6ab root 2 right let me write it here 6ab root 2 root 2 will be taken out as a factor and then we have the 2cd root 2 so it's going to look like this and the constant term i think i already wrote so that's the constant one right i mean constant meaning no radicals in other words i should probably say rational term right okay because a b c d are rationals otherwise you're not denesting make sense great now you can actually go ahead and simplify this expression or i mean solve it so this is equal to 6 plus 2 root 6 minus root 3 minus 2 root 2 so here this is our rational term so we're going to get 6a squared plus 3b squared plus 2c squared plus d squared equals 6 and then the coefficient of this is equal to 2 so if you divide both sides by 2 you get ad plus bc equals 1 from here the coefficient of root 3 is going to be negative 1 so if you divide by well let's just write it first 2bd is negative 1 and we can do it later and this should be 6ab plus 2cd equals the coefficient of root 2 which is negative 2 here we can simplify this and write it as 3ab and cd we can kind of erase this and 3cd equals negative 1 and then divide by 2 here as well I don't know if it's gonna be helpful maybe we can leave it like that for now so what are some of the strategies we can use to solve the system because it's not very easy to solve right okay great so basically one thing you could probably do is I'm thinking to eliminate some of these let's see what kind of terms do we have first of all we have a b a c b c we also have a d a b a c a d we have b c b d and c d okay so we have the whole thing okay we could probably use some identities i'm not exactly sure uh, but um you know it's it's gonna be tough but it, it's solvable because the thing is there are four variables in four equations they're all independent as far as i know but if you solve this is what you're gonna get at the end okay ready to see the answer Ta -da -da -da. okay this is not the final answer obviously we're gonna work this out as well i'll show you what that looks like but the minimal polynomial is also important it is the lowest degree polynomial that has this number as one of its roots and this polynomial notice that has rational coefficients or integer coefficients it's probably better to say integer coefficients okay so now let's go ahead and simplify this answer first of all uh, this can be written as follows okay i just multiply by root 2 and divide it by that because the numerator is now root 3 minus 1 and if you multiply by root 2 you're going to get 2 plus root 6 over 2 minus root 2 over 2. In other words, the coefficient of root 6 is 1 half, which was, let's go back here and see what that looks like, okay? So remember when I said that, okay, if I copy that here, 2 plus root 6 over 2 minus root 2 over 2, right? Is that right? Let me check my work, okay. Don't worry, I already checked the work and um, verified this. But basically from here, we can safely say that A is equal to 1 half, B is equal to 0, 
c is equal to negative one half and d is equal to two right because remember d was the constant term let's go back here hopefully that'll remind you a is the coefficient of root 6, B is the coefficient of root 3, and C is the coefficient of root 2. So these are our numbers that come from the solution of this system. But how do you solve this system? That's a very good question. Anyways, this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.